reports say Baguio is beset with pests, aging, overpopulation, and a dwindling number of pine trees. How are we targeting these with the rehab effort? Baguio Mayor Benjamin Magalo announced a series of actions during a press briefing to mitigate the gastroenteritis outbreak in the city. When I became mayor of the city of Baguio, the first thing what I did was to scan the environment. So I learned that there was actually a study that was made by NEDA sometime in early 2019. They brought in uh, a group of uh, experts on environment, on infrastructure, and um, it turned out that uh, it was actually an urban carrying capacity study. And according to that study, urban decay was actually happening in the city of Baguio. And uh, according to experts, if on a do-nothing scenario, if nothing will be done to address urban decay in the next 25 years, then definitely urban decay and its effect will be reversible. We need data. We have to identify some way mga lugar. And the only way to do that is through technology. Here comes Minerva offering us this system. I, I won't miss it. <laughs> I will never miss it. As a uh, data scientist, alumni of AIM, first I ex I'm trying to explain to them the importance of data governance. And by letting them understand first the importance of data, uh, that's the time we try to uh, train them on how to analyze and uh, interpret this data. Even though it is ambitious, I know that it is possible. It's just have to lay foundations. And the first thing that we've done is create uh, the infrastructures. In 2022, we came up with the Department of Science and Technology to launch Project Minerva, which stands for Monitoring of Indicators for Efficient Redevelopment and Value Assessment. This initiative, powered by Complexity Science, Data Science, and Artificial Intelligence, or AI, focuses on four key areas critical for the city. Air pollution is one, water quality second, urban mobility, and tourism demand. We have deployed 588 sensors for monitoring and data collection. We developed AI-powered predictive models for various environmental factors and created a visualization dashboard to help Baguio make data-driven decisions as a leading smart city. We also trained LGU staff in sensor and data management and even produced a data scientist who graduated with top honors from AIM to assure the sustainability of the project. We need to therefore make an integration between the resources available from the government uh, and that is through research and development and uh, also integrating the many uh, data sets that are existing uh, in our cities and uh, localities. So the smart cities is a way for us to integrate uh, all of these uh, technologies as well as the resources available, the data resources available from uh, the cities themselves. It will be easier for us to convince the council that we need to improve in this area that because of uh, what the findings that we've had and it's not just, you know, uh, I think we need something like this just because you thought of. So yeah, at least we are approaching it in a scientific way. Project Minerva can contribute to that goal by uh, laying foundations because as early as now, like 2024, we can now know how to do proper data gathering. Okay, this is called an Atmo tube and uh, it's uh, it connected to uh, smart to my smartphone. Uh, you press this uh, button over here, and it shows you the uh, air quality in the area that you're in within the city. Meron pong kinabit sa akin na GPS tracker. So okay naman, marami siyang matutulungan. Okay, malalaman niya kung nasan yung traffic at saka yung aksidente at, yung mang, at kung ano yung mangyayari sa driver. Naniniwala po ako na makaka, makakatulong po ito dito sa Baguio. I think Project Minerva is very helpful for the progressing and um, developing of a smart city that the 
the city is vying for. Yes, it, it's, it's a big help. You know? It provides decision makers from the national government a level of that level of confidence that we are doing things right in the city of Pa. At the Asian Institute of Management, our commitment to innovation goes beyond personal merit. We strive to make a meaningful impact all for the spirit of nation building for a better Philippines.